Hi, it's time to play Turmoil, the expert expansion to terraforming Mars. In Turmoil, you send your delegates to join the political parties of the terraforming committee in order to help protect your corporation's interests. If you remember from the main game, it's the terraforming committee that decides your terraform rating and they give you a great part of your income every generation. So this is a good place to be if you need some extra money for your projects, or if you're trying to earn more Terraform ratings. But the Terraforming Committee also has to set an agenda to help the Terraforming process and prepare humanity for the global changes taking place. Dust storms are coming, war may start on Earth, and the space industry may get hurt by large-scale solar flares. But there are also good things coming, breakthroughs in energy technology, strengthened interplanetary trade, and strong communities that make Mars a great place to live. So prepare yourself for times of disaster, intrigue, struggle and success. Prepare yourself for turmoil. Now, let's open the box and figure out this game. In the box we have project cards, corporations, reference cards, global events, a global event board with a super handy step-by-step -step overview of the turmoil phase. And then there is the terraforming committee board where you will place delegate meeples of your player color. There are also some grey opaque meeples and they represent a neutral player. Then some policy tiles, a dominance marker, a rules sheet and a terraformer milestone. If you're playing with the main game board, you should place this over the other terraformer milestone. Now it seems like an easy milestone to reach, but wait until you try it. Now take the corporations and shuffle them together with the other corporations from the main game. Grab the terminal project cards and shuffle them together with the other project cards. These reference cards contain information on all the bonuses you see on the terraforming committee board and each party's policy, all in one place. It's good to have, but we can leave that aside for now. Now we want to place the terraforming committee board and the global event board next to the main game board. Here we are getting ready for a two-player game, receiving 10 cards and two corporations each. By the way, these are the new dual layer player boards we have designed. If you don't have them already, make sure to get them. They will prevent your player markers from slipping and they have designated places for higher amounts. Take seven delegate markers of your color, place one in the lobby and the rest go to the delegate reserve. Place a grey neutral delegate marker in the chairman seat and the rest of the grey delegates in the neutral reserve. Take the policy tiles. Place the green policy tile on top and place the pile on the terraforming committee board. Now we go over to the global event board and we take the global event deck. Shuffle it and place it in the distant position. Take the first card of the deck and place it on the coming position. Every time you reveal a new global event card, you read its title and place a neutral delegate marker in the political party indicated together with this title. So we take a grey neutral delegate marker and place it in the Calvinist party, where it becomes party leader because it is in majority in that party. And we also place the dominance marker in that party because that party has the most delegates. Then we read the flavor text and announce the global event that will occur when the card comes to the last step in this row. This card says, Heat first policy. And that's exactly what the Kelvinists strive for, that's why they got an extra delegate for their party. A strong political consensus for heating up Mars will increase the risk for bigger and more severe dust storms in the future. Soil binding bio projects will rise in demand. This will lead to a global dust storm, where all players will lose all their heat resources and also lose 2 mega credits for every building tag they have. Greens will get an extra neutral delegate for their party when we get closer to that event.
Their soil binding policy is needed to prevent disasters like this in the future. Take the next global event card and reveal it on top of the global event deck. This is the distant position. This is where all new global events are revealed. Then read it and place a neutral delegate in the Reds party, as indicated with the title. Mining restrictions. Environmentalists are making it ever harder to run successful operations on Mars. This will lead to increased asteroid mining, and players will get titanium for having Jovian tags in play. Well, now we are ready with the setup for Turmoil, and we can continue to decide which corporations and cards to keep on our hand. And then we're ready to play. Now, let's play two generations to get the hang of this. The game is just like any other game of terraforming Mars. So you're doing your terraforming and making your corporation stronger. And now with Turmoil, you also want to focus a bit on the terraforming committee board. There are two new actions introduced here. One of the actions is to take your delegate from the lobby and place it in one of the parties. This doesn't cost you anything. The second action you can choose is to pay 5 mega credits to place one of your delegates from the delegate reserve into one of the parties. It doesn't have to be the same party, it can be any party. As you can see, the Mars first party now has most delegates, so the dominance marker is moved there. Red player may do the same thing, placing one delegate for free from the lobby into the Calvinist party and then paying 5 mega credits to place another one there from the reserve. Now the Calvinists are back in dominance, taking back the dominance marker. Also, red player has most delegates within the Calvinist party, so he takes over the party leader seat, and that neutral delegate becomes a normal delegate. Play continues, and when the generation is over, we do the production phase as normal, then we turn to the global event board, which will guide us through the turmoil phase step by step. First step is the terraform rating revision, where all players lose one terraform rating. Ouch! You know, the terraforming committee generously hands out bonuses and sets policies that contribute to the terraforming process, and they need to cut down somewhere else in the budget. You cannot survive on all merits now, and you will actually find this game to be a constant struggle to keep your terraform rating up. But on the other hand, you will receive a lot of bonuses. Next step is to perform the current global event. The global event is the bottom part of the global event cards. And when the card is in the current position, you carry out its effect. So this first generation, there is no global event taking place. Step 3 is called New Government, and we'll take this text with us to the Terraforming Committee Board. The dominant party becomes ruling, change policy tile. The dominant party is the party with most delegates in it, the party with the dominance marker. So now the Calvinists will be ruling, and their policy will be active during the coming generation. We place their policy tile on top, their policy says that you may buy an increase of energy production and heat production for only 10 mega credits. Wow, that's cheap. And you may do this several times in one generation. Perform the ruling bonus. You can find the ruling bonus for each party printed on the board together with the party logo. The Calvinist bonus is that all players gain 1 mega credit per step of heat production they have. The dominant party leader becomes chairman, earning one terraform rating. So, away with the old chairman and in with the new chairman, red player, who raises his terraform rating one step. Then move the old chairman and all other delegates from the dominant party to the reserves. And shift dominance to the new biggest party. Do this clockwise, in case there is more than one party in majority. Then restore the lobby. Take one of your delegates from the reserve and place it in the lobby. You're only allowed to have one delegate in the lobby, so make sure to use it. 
And now we go over to the final step in turmoil, which is step four, changing times. Move coming global event to the current position, covering the old global event if there is one there. And add its lower neutral delegate. So, grey neutral delegates go to the Greens party, where it becomes leader because she's the only one there. Move the distant global event to the coming position. Reveal a new global event in the distant position. Read its flavor text and add its top neutral delegate. So, moral movement. A grey neutral delegate goes to the Reds party. Even if the Reds hamper terraforming, they are respected for advocating other values than just profits. These values help shape strong communities. This will lead to a strong society, where all players gain 2 mega credits for each city tile they have, max 5 and influence. Yes, we are done with the first generation, but we need to play another generation to understand how the terraforming committee and the global events really work. So. Next generation, some cards are played and the Calvinist policy action is used by both players to buy increase of energy and heat production. Now the red player wants to put his free delegate in the reds party and they receive the dominance marker having more delegates than any other party. Yellow player wants Mars first to be dominant, so she places her free delegate there and then pays 5 mega credits so she can place another one there from the reserve, in order for Mars first to be dominant. Red play really wants the Reds to be dominant this time, and he also wants to be party leader. So he pays 5 mega credits to place a delegate there, and then 5 mega credits more to do it again. And he becomes party leader, and the Reds are now dominant. Now these guys are out of money, and this is how it looks when the action phase is ended. Then comes the production phase, and then the turmoil phase. First the terraform rating revision, ouch! And then the global event, global dust storm. All players lose all their heat resources from their player boards, including their newly produced ones, ouch! All players also lose 2 mega credits for every building tag they have, max 5 building tags, then reduced by influence. Now, here's the deal. This starstruck delegate symbol here means influence. And to understand the influence, we will head over to the terraforming committee, where the delegates are. And this is what you get influence for. You get one influence for being chairman. You get one influence for being party leader in the dominant party. And you get one influence if you have one or more normal delegates in the dominant party. Having more than one of these normal delegates does not help with the influence. So you can never have more than three influence total, unless you have a card that says otherwise. In this case, red player has three influence and yellow player has zero influence. The global event said to lose two mega credits per building tag, max five, then reduced by influence. Let's say red player has two building tags. Then he reduces that with his free influence, so he has to pay for zero building tags. Yellow player then, let's say she has six building tags. Only up to five are counted, and she has no influence, so she has to pay 10 mega credits. Ouch! The global event is now over, and we proceed with the terminal steps from the global event board. Step 3. The dominant party becomes ruling, change policy tile. Reds are now ruling, and their policy says that every time you raise your terraform rating this coming generation, you have to pay 3 mega credits. If you can't pay for that, you're not allowed to raise your terraform rating. Then comes the Reds ruling bonus. The one with the lowest terraform rating gains one terraform rating. That just happened to be red player. He does not pay 3 mega credits for this because the policies are only active during the action phase in the coming generation. The dominant party leader becomes chairman, earning one terraform rating. So that is another terraform rating for the red player. 
Remove the other delegates from the dominant party. Shift dominance. And restore the lobby. Over to changing times. Move the coming global event to the current position, covering the old global event. Add its lower grey neutral delegate. Move the distant global event to the coming position. Reveal a new global event in the distant position. Read the flavor text and add the top neutral delegate. Well, I think this is all you need to know to play Turmoil. At the end of the game, when all global parameters have reached their goals, you do production as normal one last time, but no Turmoil phase. So there is no global event and no new government, but when we do the final scoring, each party leader and the sitting chairman will receive one victory point each. If you want to play this solo, you just follow the rules from the main game and the other expansions you are playing with, and there are no extra rules for turmoil. But keep your eyes open, because the reds bonus and some of the cards have written exceptions for the solo play. Well, I hope this video made it easier for you. Happy turmoil out there! <laughs>